Hi and welcome to the Cartoon Mobile version 1.5 beta tutorial. Let's go over the new features introduced. So a very popular one was can we have it working with Bezier pathing? And now we have introduced that. So it's now inheriting the nice curves of the Bezier. And previously in, in the version one release that was not on a Cartoon Mobile, we just draw straight lines between them. But now we have beautiful Bezier pathing. Another feature that we have is that it works parented. It won't uh, ruin the animation, which it did in version one. So this is looking good, except for the lack of samples. We could also inherit the motion from a different source. So if we had all our animation on the null, we could simply set that as the motion source. And then we're inheriting the transformations of the null. Because often you aren't doing the animation on the layer itself, you're parenting it to another motion source. This allows us to also apply Cartoon Mobler to an adjustment layer, which is really handy. So now we can use Cartoon Mobler and that can actually affect multiple layers. And we could have as many of these Hello World as we wanted. And because it's set to an adjustment layer, that would work perfectly. We just need to make sure that there's no background because say if there was a blue background, that wouldn't work at all. We would have to pre-comp that and then we could add in the background. You might have noticed that we have a new quality tab here and the way that Cartoon Mobile now works is completely different from the previous version. So, so version 1.5 is not compatible with previous versions because it's using a different method. So let's explain these two parameters here. We've just got another composition and we've got some very thin text that's just uh, animating linearly from A to B. And let's explain the motion threshold is how many pixels does this layer have to transform before we draw a sample. So currently, if it moves more than one, one pixel or greater, we'll draw a sample. So if we set this to zero, it would draw samples even if the layer wasn't moving. So that would actually be pretty bad because at the start we'd get very crunchy alpha. So the lower this value is, the more expensive it is, the more samples that are being drawn. So I think value of one is generally good, but because the text is just so thin here, we would probably need to lower it even further. And there we can see a value of 0.5 fills in all the holes there. A value of 20 would give us an effect something like this, which you might be going for or maybe not. So I'll set that back to 0.5 and let's talk about the time threshold. So a better way of explaining this is if I apply some exponential easing, which means that the position's velocity changes from almost zero to a lot. The time threshold is measured in steps and each frame is made up of 1024 steps. So this is how many steps do we need to go before we check how far the layer has moved. So it's sort of intertwined with the motion threshold. Currently, this is every 20 steps, we're going to check how far the layer has moved. And because now we're using exponential easing, a value of 20 is probably not gonna be enough. To demonstrate this, I'll increase it to its max value, which is 1024. This means that only once per frame, it will check how far the layer has traveled. And we can see that even though our motion threshold is set to a very fine level of 0.5, a time threshold of 1024 is not gonna work for this situation unless this was the effect you're going for. The default of 20 is almost enough, but I think we would probably need to lower it to maybe 10 to fill in those holes there perfectly. An easy way to remember these quality settings is the higher that both of these are, the faster it will render. The lower these settings are, the slower it will render. And also the shutter angle. The longer that shutter angle is, the slower it will go. If we were only taking into account motion from the past one frame, then that would be much quicker. But if we were taking into account motion from the past 10 frames, that would be slower. I hope you enjoy these new features. We've got some extra features coming in soon, as well as the official release of this version, so stay tuned.